Okay, Scott, here's the here's the uh, controller and the battery pack side by side. And these are the two brackets. They simply go on that bar right back <clears throat> where your hand can just, you know, reach over and grab the control here. And then here's the connecting cable. And there's there's the actual unit. So basically what happens is <clears throat> Turn the battery on, you'll notice the unit come to life here. Okay, notice frontwards, backwards, that's manual control right now. And then I can I can put the camera anywhere where I want it. I want it to the side. And I'm doing this right here. Notice. Okay, that's manual control. So anywhere in that 180 degree range where I want to put that camera. And because the solenoid keeps it fixed pretty tight, it stays there. It's not going to bounce around. Okay, now if I want to put it on, on this other mode, <clears throat> now the volume control here, or the I shouldn't call it volume control, the knob, controls the rate at which it's going to rotate by itself, hands off. Notice, hands off. Okay, there it goes rotating. If I want to speed it up, of course you really wouldn't want it to go that fast. But, so in other words, I can slow that down considerably. So that <clears throat> at the start of a race or whatever, if you wanted to pan back and forth 180 degrees, to show all the action. That should be a pretty neat effect, I think. And that's all by itself. And there again, if I want to flip this switch up, now I've got manual control again. So wherever I turn it, and all I'm doing is like this. And that's all there is to it. And uh, that's just where it connects there, and you, you notice it's it's directly over the cameras, directly no, no more arm, so vibration should be minimal. I mean, this this thing is so solid here that it should be as solid as when this thing was just mounted to the camera mount. So, so that's it.